Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to We're Gonna Change. Today we're gonna be talking about how some teachers treat other teachers like children. Let's get into it. I'll give my experience. Okay, <laughs> I remember being in so many trainings. In fact, there was a training where our uh, lady would tell us, um, we got to talk to each other. We got, to. I remember uh, her saying something like, something close to this. It wasn't this. She didn't sing good morning, but it was kind of a, good morning, guys. Good morning. How you doing? You know, that's how I normally talk when I'm in public. I try to, I stay pretty well reserved. And it's like, what? Wake up! Good morning, everybody, huh? Yeah, we're going to have a good day. I cannot stand that. It's like we're grown. We know we have jobs to do. Why do we have to make up this fake excitement for you? This good morning, good morning. I'm not seven. Who do you think this is supposed to appeal to? Like, I don't understand people who do that. Um, I get when you're in, like, if you're a speaker at an event, I get it. You're trying to be entertaining. But when this is actual people's jobs, like it's different if somebody paid you. If I paid to come see you, yeah, maybe you do need to wake me up. I need something. But if I'm just at work, working my nine to five. No, man, I'm not trying to do all this good morning stuff, man. Just let's just get to the job. What do we need to be done? OK, I'm not seven years old. I want to live life. I got bills to pay. I got kids to teach. I got other stuff going on. Can you just treat me like an adult? I see this stuff on TikTok sometimes, right? If y'all notice sometimes when some TikTokers talk, I see this more on TikTok than I do any other social media site. So that's why I kind of push them out. Um, but when you get on there, they talk like this. Hey, you know what would be cool? <laughs> if you talk to people they wanted to be talked to, because we know people who don't talk that way are not nice people. And if you're not nice to me, you will be blocked. It's like, who are you talking to? It's easy to just get on and be like, hey, guys, I understand that some of y'all might not like what I say, but, you know, that's fine. But if you get too crazy, I'm going to block you. That sounds like a normal conversation. But, hey, guys, some of you are meanie weenies. I just see <laughs> in the, the whole uh Okay, I have to do an example. <clears throat> hey, you know what? I know some of you guys don't like me, but <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm going to do whatever I like to do. And if you don't like it, you can go do something else. I know, I don't think they actually zoom in like this. I think they have a button that zooms in, but it's just like, who are you talking to? Like, I understand you're zooming in for effect, but it's like, who is that for, dude? I can, I'm a grown man. You can just talk to me normally like this. I don't talk to people like that in real life. Nobody I talk to, am I talking to my buddy like, hey man, you need to get your life together because you know you should. You know, like it's different if you're trying to be a comedian, like you're Lou Ratchets of the world. That's funny. But when people really do talk like that to be like serious and it's like, you know, you look goofy, right? But and I get it. These are the weirdos that you would see in high school. Right? These are the weirdos you saw in college who were like, okay, they're a little off. Not like off mentally, like they're attention seeking. You know what I mean? So please, please, baby, if you are a teacher, okay, a principal, superintendent, or one of those weird positions where you're a trainer, right? Can you just treat the people like human beings? Okay. I get trying to wake people up, but people are going to do their jobs regardless. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever put me, because I'm that type of dude. I'm sorry. And I try not to be a sourpuss. I really don't. But if you put me in that situation, I'm sitting in the back of the room. And if you try to put something in my hand and say, Trey, play this, I might play it because I'm not trying to ruin everybody's mood. But 
But I still leave. I'm going to be like, good morning. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be into it. I'm not going to be that guy. That's just not who I am. Okay. I know some people are over the top. They try to get into it. I'm, hey, look, do you. But at the end of the day, when you patronize me, that's what it feels like it is sometimes. When you make me seem like as a child, because when I get treated that way in a setting like that, what it makes it feel like my job isn't taken that seriously. You know what I mean? I get if we're out at lunch and we're all hanging out with each other, we having a good time. But when you do it at my job, it's like, what am I to you that you feel like you have to do that? I thought we were supposed to take our job serious here. I, I'm not a child. And if you treat me that way, it makes me feel like you see me as a kid. I'm being honest with you. If a principal says something like that to me or sings a song to me like that, I'm going to think, what do you really think about me? Do you think I'm a child in here? I was a supervisor over a team of, what, 30 people? Do you think I ever got in there and sang a song? I never said, hey, guys, good morning. Nope. I was very serious in my uh, meetings. I, we would have a good joke. We would laugh. But I never patronized my employees. I never said... I never looked at them as kids. I took their job to me was as serious as mine. We all try to make money and I'm going to be serious about that. You know, if you want to make more money, I'll show you how I'll show you how to be a better agent. Right. So I never made them feel like they were my kids. I never made them feel like they were children to me. That's why I treated them so seriously. Like if you do something, I take it serious. If you uh, steal time off the clock, that's serious. If you say something dumb, you get written up. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff that matters to me, right? Because you need to take life serious. This ain't a joke. This is your livelihood, okay? When it's time to have fun, we'll go into the back break room and we'll have a little party. And then that's where we can laugh and giggle. But when we at work, we on the clock? Nah, baby. <laughs> no. And so that's, that's just how I feel. Maybe I'm crazy. Do y'all like this? Would y'all get on there and sing your little guitar? Do your little, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's that woman's name? Colleen? Get on there. The uh, what was that song? The Hate Train, whatever you remember the song she did that terrible uh YouTube apology. Uh, y'all let me know anyway. I'm done with this video. Bye.